So for today's project, I've been wanting to build a solar food dehydrator. Some place where we can uh, dehydrate our food that we get out of our gardens. So I've shown you guys before the aquaponics setup that we have over here in our little garden center over here. Made out of uh, recycled shipping containers. And uh, a tumbling composter we made. And now we have this, which we made out of a recycled shipping container and a couple of other pieces. So, the temp out here today, hopefully you can see this, about 86 degrees in the shade. And we go out to here. And what we have here basically is uh, just a black box made out of some OSB and a couple of 2x4s with a piece of plexiglass over the top of it. And I just set it up so there's still going to be some kinks to be worked out of it. But as you may or may not be able to see down the bottom, the temp coming in is 108 degrees. If you go up to the next level up, temp rises to 114 degrees. Go up to the next level up, that temp rises to 121 degrees. So from 108 through the baffles to 107, 111 and up to the top at about 121 degrees. 119 degrees, 121 degrees. And the air then as it rises and gets heated enters to the bottom when it enters through the bottom, it's hot air. Hot air is going to rise through the container and it's going to come out the vent holes at the top. And when it comes out through the vent holes at the top, it's going to take with it a lot of the moisture from the food that's going to be inside. I basically just made this cover and put some draw tight latches on it. When you open it up inside, Right now I've been messing around with it, so right now the temperature in here is only about 105 degrees at the bottom. And I'm going to put shelves inside here. And the shelves are just going to have screen on them basically. And you'll put the food on those screens. The air will come in through the holes down the bottom here, heated. It'll rise up through the unit. As it rises up through the unit, it goes through the food, passes over it, grabs moisture, and the heat and the moisture pass out through the top. Leaving you with nice dehydrated food by the sun. Pretty basic, pretty simple. They're made almost entirely out of recycled parts. I'll make another video once I get it all set up and actually start dehydrating food inside of it. Today was more or less just a proof of concept. Seems to be working. Thanks for watching.